Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and talk about some of the important points that you need to remember going forward. So the first important point is, it is not possible to change the standard objects and field API names. Now what, are the, what is this API name? So whenever you wanted to go ahead and access a particular field through Apex, Apex is a programming language for force.com platform. Or if you wanted to access a field through programmatic way, then in that case, we will not use the field label. We have to use the field name, which is also called as the API name. So if you go back here to the, if you go back to the developer edition, you will see for every, let's say if you go to the contact and if you go to this view fields here, then these are all the fields. So there is a field label and then there is a field name. So this field name is also called as the API name. So in the case of you wanted to refer a particular field in Salesforce through programs or like Apex, then you're going to use this particular name. And once you have all for the standard object, you cannot change the value for these fields API name. The second point that you need to remember is the we can add the custom fields to standard and custom objects in Salesforce. So if you wanted to add additional field to a standard object like account, opportunity, contact, etc., you can do it. And similarly, you can even add fields to the custom objects. And we've already seen that when we were creating the patient object, you were able to add some of the fields. Now, the next thing is we can have a maximum of 40 lookup relationships on an object. So this number was originally 25, but after the summer 16 release, this number has changed to 40 lookup relationships. So now for an object, you can create 40 relationships. But remember, remember one point that if the, if that particular object already has two master detail relationship, then in that case, you can create 38 lookup relationship. You cannot create 40. The total number of relationships that you can have on an object is 40. So if that particular object does not have any mass edited relationship, then in that case, you can create 40 lookup relationship. Now, if it already has a master detail relationship, then you can only create 39 lookup relationship because the total number of relationships is going to be 40. Then the next thing to remember is, we can have a maximum of two master detail relationship on an object. You already know this part. Then the next point that you need to remember is when you delete a custom object, what happens is that object will be available in the deleted object list for 15 days. So if you wanted to restore that particular custom object, you can do the system administrator can do that within those 15 days itself. So once you delete it, doesn't mean that it is going to be deleted forever. For the 15 days, for the next 15 days, you have the ability to restore it. The system administrator can restore it. Now, the next thing is, if a custom object contain more than 100,000 records, and if you want to delete that particular custom object, then you first need to delete the appropriate number of records and then you will be able to delete the object. So you have to first remove the records before you delete that particular object. Then initially the lightning experience was only available for some of the standard profile, but now in the new editions, the lightning experience is now available for all the standard profile and it is by default enabled for all the profiles. So these are some of the very important points that you need to remember. And we have already talked about all the master detail relationship, lookup relationship. This particular tutorial is just to summarize what we have learned so far. And then going forward, we are going to go ahead and discuss another topic.